Hello and welcome to World of Tanks tutorials with Antonov 2. So that's me, obviously. And uh, today I will be answering a question that a lot of you guys were asking uh, when I uploaded my previews of patch 8.5. And that request is how do you download the test server or how do you get into the test server? So uh, that's pretty easy actually. What you do is you go to the World of Tanks website and uh, you don't have to log in or anything so if you want to log in you can as you can see I'm logged in up here but you don't have to uh, what you do is you just go to the news page and if there's a test server open at the moment it should say quite far at the top uh, public test of update and then the number of update so we're on update 8.5 at the moment so it says public test of update 8.5 and as it was only released about two hours ago uh, it's pretty far at the top it's actually the first news you get uh, if it's a few days later that you want to download the public test you have to scroll down and maybe switch to another page of the news but uh, in this case it's just right at the top so when you found the link uh, you click onto it and that will bring you to this page and it says public test of update and then the number of update in this case 8.5 and it explains you a whole pile of stuff um, it tells you how to uh, install the test server as well but I can bet you don't want to read through all this stuff so um, if you don't, just keep on watching this video because I'll show you the whole thing from the start to the end, how to do it. So, you've got a whole list of changes and so on here, and then you just scroll down till you get to how to join the public test. And then it just says test client installer as link. And um, you just hit the link, and as you can see, it downloads the test server so that takes a while so after it has downloaded you open it you click on to open and yes and then you choose your language you can only choose between English and Russian so I'm gonna take English if you can speak better Russian than English obviously you take Russian it's up to you uh, then you click next then you uh, decide where to save it click next now you can cr decide if you want to create a start menu folder and if you do you can uh, decide how you want to call it so I will create that and then you can decide if you want to create desk desktop icon I want to do that as well and then you just hit install and it will install the test server so that's, that happens pretty quickly so after the test server has installed it will automatically open this updating window and what this updating window does is it installs the updates for the test server now depending on the patch and quality of the internet connection uh, this can take up to four and a half hours uh, so it can even take up to five hours so it always says how many megabytes uh, it has so and this patch has got 4.766 gigabytes so uh, that's quite a lot and an average every gigabyte downloading every gigabyte takes about an hour so you'll have to do something else in the meanwhile like say uh, you could I don't know surf on the internet or play another game but the problem is it takes up a lot of internet capacity so you'll have a kind of a lag so you'll probably have to do something like play a board game or go outside uh, I know that's something you don't really feel like doing but uh, you know if you bring yourself to do it uh, you'll be rewarded with a lot of fun on the test server and after the updates are downloaded you get this screen here and at the bottom right corner it says play so you hit that button and uh, that will take you to the world of tanks test client so you have to wait loads and so on so that takes quite a while with my computer because it isn't very good uh, and then you 
skip the intro and uh, you're in the login screen so you enter your login details and choose a server in this case there's only one server but sometimes there are two and uh, then you hit the connect button now sometimes you're um, you come into a queue because you're um, because there's too much traffic on the server so you sometimes come into a queue uh, if you're in this queue you can skip it by spamming the enter key so hitting the enter key again and again and again and then you'll be able to skip the queue so uh, yeah another thing you have to uh, remember is that the test server takes your account the way it was about two uh, weeks before it comes out so uh, say if you've recently changed your password you might have to take your old password not the new one say to log in and some changes that you've recently done on your live server won't be uh, there on the test server um, talking about changes of course everything you do on the test server so uh, selling vehicles and so on won't happen on the live server so you can sell your best tanks and so on on the test server and they'll still be there on the live server but of course if you buy a tank on the test server uh, you won't have it on the live server either so bear that in mind and uh, yeah of course you've got plenty of uh, money and experience and gold so you can buy all tanks you ever wanted to drive and play and uh, I hope you have a lot of fun with them I hope you have fun on the test server thanks for watching I hope I could help you and see you next time bye bye